the ultimate dream for a surfer is to get a really good barrel. It's not that easy to get a barrel, but there are some tips which I've made to show you how to get a barrel. So go test it out and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and put those notifications on. Have a good day. I'll just point out and bring up five different things that we need for barrel riding. There's obviously a bit more, um, but the first one is to have the right wave. And the second one is to have the correct line. The third one is to have the correct barrel stance. And then the fourth one is to be in the correct position for a barrel on the wave. And then the last one is to have the correct timing, basically when to stall, when to speed up. So let's talk about those, those few things. Uh, you know, we all want this kind of vision and it's not so easy to get a barrel, mostly because of these five things I just pointed out. But if you're on the right wave and you're able to have the right line and stance, etc., etc., it's not too difficult. Um, so like this one here, for example, is not the best wave to go for a barrel on. It's always good to try go for as many barrels as possible. That's how we practice. Um, but what you want to do on a smaller wave, let's say this was an opportunity to get a barrel with these kind of waves where it's a small barrel and it's pinching a bit. The best line to have is to keep a higher line on top of the wave and ride in more parallel with the wave. And you'll see later on, I'll speak more about a hollow wave. Um, when it is more hollow, you'll keep a lower line and you don't want to be too high up. Otherwise you get sucked over and you'll get smashed. So, um, you know, also sometimes you'll fall straight into the barrel like that. Other times you'll do some turns and the wave will barrel later on and you have to quickly get ready and change your line and speed and then pull into the barrel. We went to the wave pool in Switzerland to surf and to get some barrels and it was quite amazing. And you'll see with these waves, although they are not big, they're quite hollow. And with these hollow ones, the best line to have is a lower line. You can see I'm way at the bottom of the wave, nice and low, and uh, that's the best position to be in. Um, if you stay too high on the wave, getting the barrel, you're gonna get sucked over or the wave is gonna break on your back. So keeping a low line is the best. And you'll see with these very hollow ones, what I'm also doing is keeping my board at like a 45 degree angle inside the barrel. So it's aiming almost towards the beach um, if you change the line too much like I did there, then you get sucked over. So having the correct line is very important. And sometimes you'll need to adjust your line according to what the wave is doing. If it gets hollow, then change your line to a lower one. If it starts pinching, then you have to adjust to a higher line inside the barrel. And then the best stance to have is to have a very low stance, a low tight stance. You want to bend the legs, make sure that you drop your ass more than your head and then you wanna tuck your arms and shoulders in. And this is quite a common thing that happens where a wave breaks on a person's back and head or shoulder, and then it puts you off and you get smashed. So the best thing to do is to keep that front arm and front shoulder tucked in a little bit more towards your chest and in the direction you wanna go. So he had a good stance, but it was just that rotation in the arm and shoulders, which he never had. This guy, yeah, you see he's got a very good uh, barrel stance you see how he's tucked his shoulder in a little bit more and he's aiming where he's going so that's a very good stance he just wasn't in the barrel so and then the other thing is to have uh, maybe a slightly different stance in the barrel as if you were going to do turns so what I do is I try stand further forward with these kind of barrels what I do is I just step my back foot further forward so I don't necessarily stand too far forward with both feet so with this one here just with this little pump, I do one pump, step my back foot further forward, um, just over there. And then as I come out, I readjust it and I place it further back there, if you can see. I just lift it up, put it further back to do a maneuver. With the faster down the line barrels, you need to stand or you can stand further forward with both feet. With these kind of waves, um, it's not too necessary because it's a short barrel. So you want to be able to get into a position to do a turn straight away. And you can see over here, uh, my line wasn't too good and I was also not in the best barrel stance so the wave broke on my back and my head. So it's good to be able to adjust yourself at the right time so you don't get smashed by the wave. 
and the best place to be in on the wave or in the barrel is as deep as possible so you want to be next to the foam ball sometimes in the foam ball like i was over there you can see there on the foam ball it's quite difficult there but if you stay nice and low in a good barrel stance with these kind of waves you can make it out you don't want to be too deep when you ride in a faster down the line wave because you need that extra speed uh, to actually get down the line to beat that way so this one here for example is quite a fast one and i don't want to be too close to the foam ball because i need to exit and then um, sometimes you're going to stall in different ways um, so if you can see i did a turn and then i had a little bit of weight in the back foot just over there and you can lean back sink the tail to slow down and then you put weight forward to speed up you can also use your hands like I'm doing here to slow down inside the barrel. Sometimes it's a good thing to do as you're coming out the barrel if it's still hollow and you want to maximize your barrel time. Just uh, put your hands inside the wall like this. Slow down and maximize your barrel time. Uh, you can also do a snap underneath the lip um, or you can just sink the tail like I did over there. But if you do it too much, you'll lose too much speed and you'll get smashed. So it's important to read the wave well and to you want enough speed inside the barrel. So although I did a stall of year, I lost my speed, I adjusted my feet and I leaned forward and then I did one pump there just to regain some speed because I realized I wiped too much off. So being able to do this inside the barrel is difficult because you won't have too much space in the barrel to pump but you need to be able to learn how to do it. So usually on these hollow ones, it's easier to do one or two pumps to get some speed. And you can see my line is good, my position is good. And then I use my hands to try to slow down for half a second, or my head. <laughs> and then um, I came out. So timing is very important. Sometimes people uh, stall too early or too late and uh, then they miss time it and then they miss the barrel so um, there, there's a lot happening when you're going for a barrel and you have to be ready to adjust straight away because sometimes the wave is going to barrel without you knowing and uh, you might be a second too late so uh, the best thing to do when it comes to barrel riding or practicing your barrels is just to go for as many barrels as possible whether you make it or not so remember there are those five things you want the right wave you want to keep the right line on the wave you want to have the correct stance as well and you want to make sure that with the stance you stay small you stay tucked in and you can adjust your feet as well to stand a little further forward to keep more speed and sp stability inside the barrel and then you want to make sure that you stay nice and deep in the barrel and then the last thing is the timing you want to know when to stall at the right time and when to speed up at the right time